the Crusader, a focal point of firepower on the table, can stand next to marauders and, and warhammers and handle itself. Its primary feature is that it has weapons for all ranges, like the Stalker, and very few heat sinks, so you only use the best weapons at any one time. It has a lot of armor too. It's very much like a Stalker light, yet it tends to die easily on the battlefield. In spite of these limitations, it can't fire all its weapons, it tends to die on the battlefield easily. Many people still consider it a good mech. If it dies so quickly when it's so heavily armored, how could it be a good mech? Because it's a big badass threat, and when a crusader hits the table, it gets focus fired. If you're playing a crusader, try to use up all your missiles and ammo weapons as much as possible so that you have fewer ammo crits during late game. And a crusader is more than just a wasp that's got a bunch of armor and weapons added to it. For a crusader is 65 tons of whoop-ass in a can. But what exactly is a Crusader? Well, let's go find the TRO and check it out. See what the old, original, the true TRO says about the Crusader. Now it is kind of obscure in here, so I gotta kinda look it up, find it. Yeah, there it is, Crusader the heavies. I mean, it is a pretty nice heavy mech. But we're gonna like just flip through slowly. So there's that wasp and that stinger back there. You'll notice the uncanny resemblance. Crusader, the wasp, the stinger, they're kind of all the same mech, except the Crusader is much heavier. If you look at the old model, you'll notice that it actually has wingtips in the rear because it comes from the original lamb. There it is, oh yeah. And in case you missed it, here are photos of the uh, spec sheet and of the story slash fluff. Overview. The CRD-3R Crusader had a long successful production history numerous variants of the basic design served in the armed forces of the Star League. Designed by Callan Industries as a medium close-range combat vehicle, the Crusader soon became the workhorse of the Star League, filling many roles and performing a wide variety of missions. Capabilities The Crusader has a well-deserved reputation as a reliable, versatile mech. Commonly found in command and fire lances, the mech is equally at home alongside marauders and thunderbolts in close assault units. Some versions have even served as scout mechs, but this is rare. The combination of longbow LRM and harpoon SRM launchers prov proved a potent weapon system, giving the Crusader excellent firepower at both long and short ranges. The Crusader's original Hawk SRMs and Phoenix LRMs have long since been exhausted, replaced by crude unguided missiles produced by the successor state's munitions factories. These inferior substitutes cannot match the range or accuracy of the old missiles, but they are effective enough to keep the Crusader's opponents at a respectful distance. The unique location of the harpoons on the mech's hips gives the Crusader both a stable firing platform and a good field of fire. The, the arm-mounted longbow launchers caused trouble in earlier models, however. The combined stresses produced by missile exhaust and the heat from the arm-mounted lasers produced considerable strain on the arm's actuators and superstructure. The now familiar collars were placed on the Crusader's arms to compensate for these stresses, so later models did not experience such difficulties. Today, the Crusader is an impressive vehicle capable of delivering a full spread of 42 missiles at an optimum 160-180 to 180 meter range, 
with the potential of crippling or destroying even the mighty Battlemaster. At 65 tons, the mech is also a powerful hand-to-hand -hand fighter. Its heavily armored legs are especially devastating when kicking, and the jump jet-equipped Crusader L is proficient in the dreaded Death From Above attack. Battle History As noted above, the Crusader served a variety of roles in the Star League era, from counterinsurgency to anti-aircraft, though only a few of the variant models still exist. The basic Crusader design has earned a place in the forces of every successor state. How Steiner's Crusaders are highly regarded. Their maintenance crews, trained in the mech works of Hesperus II, are counted among the best. Many ancient schematic diagrams and spare parts were found in the abandoned factories, providing invaluable data and training materials for the engineers of How Steiner. Steiner's maintenance crews proved their worth once again during the recent action in the Amity system, where Katrina Steiner sent her elite Sky Rangers on a punitive raid against Merrick forces who had been threatening invasion. The Steiner attack took the Merrick regiments so much by surprise that the rangers were back in their dropships and heading back, back home before Merrick could organize a defense. At Ken Cruz Crossing, however, C Company, 2nd Battalion, 17th Regiment of the Rangers, encountered an unpleasant surprise. Two full companies of Merrick's regular hussars on a training mission. The Hussars, Marauders, and Warhammers engaged Charlie Company's Crusaders in a furious battle, inflicting heavy losses on the outnumbered Steiner forces. Superior equipment quickly came into play, however. Falling back to optimum range, the Rangers' gunners scored devastating hits against the advancing Marauders. Despite a heavy pounding from the Merrick Mex PPCs, the Steiner withdrawal was orderly and Charlie Company's Crusaders inflicted enough damage on the Hussars to deter pursuit. Reaching the Steiner base, C Company was refitted by the crack house techs and was back in action within a single day. Again and again, similar incidents have illustrated the Crusaders' sheer staying power. In a battle between Davian and Kurita forces on Bergman's planet, a single battalion of Davian's Sirtis Fusiliers composed primarily of Crusaders held at bay a Kurita force twice its size for several days before being relieved. With the Davian dropships operating as a mobile supply depot nearby, the Crusaders alternated combat and resupply, returning to battle with full loads of missiles to hurl at the attacking Kurita forces. Davian's Crucis Lancers Crusaders have also fought many a border clash and raid. Bandit King Helmar Valasek of Santander V hates them for the defeat of his massive water raid on Tancredi. With Davian's riflemen laying down covering fire, the Lancer's Crusaders moved into close range and slugged it out with Valasek's mechs, kicking with their armored legs and firing missiles at close range. In the end, Valasek's death's head raiders fled in disorder. Variants of the many Crusader variants that existed in the heyday of the Star League, only four remain in common use. The Crusader D, mostly used by De Davian, makes only minor modifications of the standard Crusader A. By removing the M100 machine guns and downgrading the Harpoon SRM 6 packs to 4 packs, the Davian has been able to add more heat sinks, which gives the Crusader greater endurance. The Kurita variant. Crusader K has still more heat sinks. Though it retains the Harpoon 6, the Longbow 15 racks have been reduced to 10 racks. The Crusader L, House Liao's version, is the most radical departure from the standard production model. In addition to downgrading both missile launchers, the Liao Crusader is equipped with, say, GM Jetstar jump jets. These give it greater mobility and permit it, permit it to engage in death from above attacks. Ah, yes, but we have even more. For the Crusader gets an update in 3050. So here first we have to go through the clan section and now through the various light mix again. The uh, Wasp and the Stinger very close to the Crusader. Finally, we're going to those medium mechs. And finally now, we are reaching the heavy mechs.
dragons, Ostrock, Ossol, Quick Draw, Rifleman, Axeman, all the good stuff. Catapults. Ah, here it is. Crusader. There it is. The new version of the Crusader. And in case you missed it, this is the uh, still shot of the spec sheet and the still shot of the overview text. Overview. The Crusader is a popular design common throughout the Inner Sphere in many variants. The availability of Star League technology has increased the proliferation of this mech and also the diversity of its configuration. Of the four factories producing Crusaders, three produce virtually the same model. This was the official Free Worlds League version produced in Callan Industries factories on Asuncion and Bernardo, as well as the Brigadier plant on Oliver which was captured by the Lyran Commonwealth in the Fourth Succession War and now produces the Merrick version for the Federated Commonwealth. This model uses an XL engine and 13 double heat sinks, greatly improving sustained performance. Free World's League designers equipped the CRD-5M with jump jets for mobility and cellular ammunition storage equipment for greater safety. A Lindblad shotgun anti-missile system replaces two, one of the two machine guns and a pair of Hovertech Streak SRM-2 pods to replace the old SRM-6s, trading firepower for ammo efficiency. Tharhis Industries on Tharcat produces a similar version for the Federated Commonwealth. Strategists believe the existence of two versions of the Crusader fighting side by side will confuse the enemy. Tharhis version, the CRD-5S, lacks the jump capability of the Merrick version and carries three less double heat sinks, which is still plenty. He keeps the firepower of the dual SRM-6 launchers and the second medium laser, giving up both machine guns and the AMS. The field modification kits have turned up in Davian and Liao space that are almost identical. Each adds three heat sinks and drops the SRM-6 launchers for streak technology, double federated super streak dual SRM launchers in one case and double hovertech stream SRM-2 pods in the Capellan Confederation. Each drops a medium laser in both machine guns in favor of double medium pulse lasers, Magna 400P for Liao and Sutel Precision Line for Davian. A less extensive field modification has appeared in the Draconis Combine. This adds four heat sinks and mounts two Magna 400P medium pulse lasers instead of a single medium laser and double machine guns. But that's not all, for there is yet another Crusader. The Grand Crusader, although this is more of a new, different mech. It's a Jihad era Word of Blake upgrade to the Crusader, significantly more powerful and heavier. And most variants have the IC3 system for a networked action. Its prime features are Excel engine, endo steel, large pulse lasers, LRM-20s, AMS. I won't go into every detail on the Grand Crusader because you can just look it up yourself and it is a different mech, but it has some of the flavor of the 3050 Crusaders in it. So let's get back to the story of the original Crusader. As one of the original mechs of Battletech, that is the original originals from before Battletech was even called Battletech. It makes the back of the Battle Droids box. It has the rough appearance of a Stinger's paint job, but the Stinger and the Wasp are the same, just different paint jobs and different heads. Except it looks like it's got beefed up armor and weapons packs added to it. And if you really need to make it even more explicit, let me do it for you. Here's your wasp lamb converted into mech mode. And here are a bunch of parts, weapons, and armor packs. Voila, you have a crusader. Of course, those are the fairy techs from Macross and not mechs from Battletech, but that's where the idea came from anyway. The part is, this means you can get 172nd model kits if you want to do clan troops or battle troops games. Now let's talk variants. 
Well, the 3R is the standard one. 1317 battle value. Production year 2752. It's the standard one when you think about Crusader and you don't know what version you have. Well, that's the one you've got. The next one I've got for you is a special one. I have reconstructed what I believe is the 1R. If you look here, these are its loadout. It's got primitive components. Because the 1R has almost data, no data about it anywhere, I've had to make some guesses, and here are my battle value and cost calculations for it. So now you've got the 1R available. 2R so is the Star League Royal SLDF Lost Tech variant. Double heat sinks, endo steel, Artemis 4, and SRM Streak 2s. And the ammo is case protected. So very tough, but also relatively high. Battle value 1533. 3D is a low tech Star League era 2756 unit. It's replaced the SRM 6s with SRM 4s, and the machine guns were removed so it'd have more heat sinks. So 1338 battle value. The 3K is another one of these low-tech 2765 era mods. The LRMs are now LRM-10s and the machine guns are gone with X6 extra heat sinks, 1290 battle value. The 3L combines the 3D and 3K. It's also a 2753 era. It's removed the LRM-15s and SRM-6s and replaced them with LRM-10s and SRM-4s. Then it's got two extra heat sinks and four jump jets. It's the Liao version. The 4BR is a Bander Battle Max refit in 3054 for the standard Crusader 3R using the Lost Tech that had been refound. The 4D is a refit kit in the year 3049 using Hell Memory Core upgrades. Both Davian and Liao used it. It's got medium lasers and SRM6s removed and two streak SRMs and medium pulse lasers are added with three extra heat sinks. But otherwise, uh, the Liao and the Davian versions are actually identical with just different brands of equipment. The 4K is a refit of the 3K in 3049 by Kurita. It removes two heat sinks and replaces two medium lasers with the medium pulse models. It's a 1268 battle value in case you want to try that out. The 5M is the official production model upgrade of the Crusader for their Free Worlds League in 3049 using the Lost Tech Recovered. It's got the same old chassis, but it's got an XL engine and 13 double heat sinks, so it's much more capable. Plus, it's also got some jump jets. The 5S is a Steiner Tech upgrade. It's a just got 3049 era. It just removes the machine guns to add double heat sinks. Adds case and flamer. Fairly minimalistic upgrades. The 6D is a pretty expensive one with endo steel, an XL engine, four jump jets. It's got case, double heat sinks, XL engine, endo steel, LRM Thames and SSRM-2s and medium lasers as its main features. The 6M variant was built during 3074 during the Jihad by the Free Worlds League. It's a bit slower, so it's got improved jump shots. It's also got uh, double heat sinks, uh, a standard chassis and engine. It's got two light PPCs, two MML-7s, and two SSRM-4s as its weapons. And it's a 1373 battle value. The 5K is a 3063 era Kurita upgrade during the FedCom Civil War. Its main interesting feature is that it has a C3 slave. It's got two MRM 30s, two medium pulse lasers, and still two medium lasers on top of that, with 11 double heat sinks. Plenty of firepower, and that slave, which is, uh, makes it a good team player. The 6T is a Kallen variant during the FedCom Civil War. It's got a C3 slave, which is its most interesting feature. It also has an XL engine and case, but it's 
most interesting feature is that it's got all these medium lasers on it. It's kind of like a, almost like a copycat of the Nova. So what do these variants actually do in Sims? Well, let's see. As far as absolute win rates are concerned, the 6M, the 2R, and the 3K stand out from amongst the others in their eras. The 3K being the low-tech one, and the 2R being the SLDF, and the 6K being the, or the, um, 6M being the high-tech. There are significant differences in their battle values, of course, ranging from the high 1200s to the high 1800s. So when you correct for that, you have to see if the best units are still the best. When adjusting for the battle value, the ones that stand out are still the 2R, the 4D, and the 6M. All of these units are pretty good as 0.4 I consider good value. Now for C bills, it's a little bit of a different story. They're mostly efficient, except there's a few atrocious ones that stand out for being inefficient. In particular, the worst ones I'd say are the 6D, the 5M, uh, and then the 5K and the 6T. They possibly have like the XLE engines and the other high-tech features and those make them just very cost ineffective. And best yet, you can still find unopened blister packs available for about 80 bucks on eBay from the original Battle Droids line. So get them if you want. This isn't as popular as the Marauder or anything but still in an unopened blister pack, it's probably a collectible that'll go up in value. Just think of it as a hedge against inflation. I mean, who needs gold or silver bullion? Just get lead bullion in the form of battle droids, Max.